Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, the number one Sausage Sleuth, Joe. Welcome back to Agatha Crumby. This is the ABC murders. <gasps> People had been murdered up to the letter C. That means there's a certain number left. However, I don't think the book gets that far. So here we are. Everyone related to death has gathered in me, my Hercule Poirot's office. <laughs> the other set of footprints... Thank you for the eight months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you. Not the wide open eyes. Oh, both of them. What's going on? Sometimes I love a brunette. Sometimes I love a blonde. That's what the song says. I think that I think they should go ahead and get to the murderer should go ahead. and Let's get to the H's the and the P's for Hercule them. Poirot. Let's go ahead and get to her, the H's and the P's for Hercule Poirot. I should take advantage of the silence to examine them. Oh, I thought I just examined Sometimes her. Sometimes I love a brunette. Oh. Sometimes I love a blonde. Are that's, they okay, the by says. the way? Are they okay? The song says, Sometimes I love a blonde who comes from Eden by way of Sweden. But I am not sure that this blonde is an angel. I should take advantage of the silence oh, to examine I guess them. I need to examine all of them. Okay. Um, let's look at these people. Well, we've gathered everyone here. Look at his dark circles! We gotta get him started on a retinol. Donald is always on edge. Always on edge. Oh! Mama, it's time to read him. It's the reading challenge with Hercule Poirot! <laughs> Sad eyes? No retinol? Sh a shaving cut? No, not that. Sad bangs? Oh. <laughs> I actually responded. He said, leave me alone. Unmoisturized hands? Ew, stinky armpits? Flat ass. <laughs> What am I supposed to be zooming in on? Not the forehead wrinkles. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be zooming in on. Something over here. <laughs> Dark circles, Diva. We'll get you started on a moisturizer. The is very nervous at the moment. Even if he's trying hard to control himself. <laughs> Flat ass. <laughs> Hercule Poirot is ruthless. Oh my gosh! That painting in the background is from Animal Crossing, isn't it? <laughs> she appears to have taken more care with her appearance than the last time. Okay, what's this reading challenge? Looking at someone else. <laughs> okay, we love the necklace. The necklace? Now, fresh Manny, new necklace... Stunting earrings? <laughs> Why is that something we're noticing? Oh, that's right. Does she like him? Wearing a necklace and earrings? Sad if true. She must be the murderer. I should take advantage of the silence to examine them. I think I have to literally click that on both of them. I should take advantage of the silence to examine them. Is there an ant in my nose? No, we're fine. <laughs> imagine if I'm... Imagine me playing this video game. And ants just start crawling up my face. If y'all don't, so those of y'all on YouTube, I don't know if I shared this yet. There's an ant situation in the window behind the desk, and there's an ant trap that's taking care of them. Um, and it's doing its job. All right, let's take a pi picture at him. Always seems it is regardless of what he is, something that's unique to people who travel. Who is? Oh, was he the brother of the of the guy who died? I should take advantage of the silence to examine them. I hope to concentrate on my guests. I think that's it. 
I wish to thank you all for coming. I guess I'm standing over I there to somewhere. Bring oh, everyone there I am. close to the victims here in order to unmask the murderer. Get to the point, Mr. Poirot. What do you want from us? Is it over? Ask Megan the reason for this. Tell Megan. <laughs> Megan. Megan. Calm down, girl, Megan. Patient. Calm down, Poirot, Megan. How dare you address me by my first name? Please excuse me, mademoiselle. Oh, we're what not supposed to call people by their first names? Memories. The murderer must have left some trace. Yes, he must have prepared his crimes very carefully. Tout à fait. Let's he set a trap. He did not at midnight in order to strangle a young girl whose name by chance starts with B. Must we go into that? Tell Donald to get a grip. <laughs> Mr. Fraser, please get a grip on yourself. Well... I want to help you, grip. I don't remember anything else. Nothing I haven't already said. And you, Mademoiselle Barnard? Did your sister say if she was seeing another man? She never would have told me. I don't think she liked her sister. Urge Megan. Ask Megan why Betty didn't say anything. Both of those are the same thing. That's the same thing. Why would she hide the fact from you? Betty knew I didn't approve of her behavior. Her flirting was spoiling any chance she might have had. Tell me, mademoiselle, what did you talk about with your sister? Silly things. Her new dress. She wanted a pair of black stockings to go with it. Mother bought her a brand new pair. Didn't she already tell the me this story? It happened. She was crying. And to think that Betty never even wore them. Oh, poor mummy. Your she has the most murderous me. look in her eyes. In public? She dreamt about it, but she had a very bad cough. It troubled her greatly. She had to cancel auditions and miss lots of opportunities. She's got that look in her eyes. Yes, she sang well. well so does he. <laughs> tell us much about the murderer. Qui sait? In any case, we now Was have it information to draw up a relatively precise psychological profile. This is the Little Mermaid situation where she they killed her because they were right. wanted to and eat her voice. Brain cells to work. Oh, I gotta get my brain cells working. Is the killer clever? I put that. I've put. This is I connect the dots by putting their ACT score. <laughs> nope. One of these will be right. It's the last one. It's the last one I clicked. Indeed. Ah, indeed. Let us look again. Is the killer sure of himself? Sad. Sad. Have some self-confidence, killer. Um, I would say, yeah, they wrote, oh. Killed when the street was packed with people. That's rather bold. Is the killer a seducer? <laughs> what are these questions? Oh, the man seduced Betty before taking her to the beach where he strangled her. Flirty, bold. Is he on Tinder? Does the killer like trains? <laughs> Found a toy model of a train next to him. Not just because he... I'm sorry. Just because someone travels by trains doesn't mean that they like trains. It just means they have to get somewhere and they don't have a car. Do you know what I mean? Chat? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We're building the killer's dating profile. Love trains. Very bold. Very seductive. Prepares crimes meticulously. Cold. Is the killer impulsive? Uh, the murderer is making sure that he is accused. In a way, it's very generous of him. And generous. So, ladies and Ooh, gentlemen, we generous. Too much risk of error. Generous, that bold train lover looking for sure of himself, a seducer <laughs> of outstanding intelligence that he has plenty of self-control. I don't know where it's going. Railways. It's a good start. Other meetings may be necessary. I hope that you will be able to come back again. <laughs> Not this, Andy. Well, it's just that... 
push Mary so that she helps. Point out that she is short of money for the trip. <laughs> Mary, did you remember that you are poor? Has anyone told you today, Mary, that you are poor? <laughs> is something bothering you, Mary? Well, Mr. Poirot, you see, I don't know if I can come to London just like that. It's normal that people helping with this inquiry should be reimbursed. Starting with you, Miss Drower, please allow me to pay for your train ticket. Her name starts with a D! Oh, sir, I cannot accept. Oh, Mary. But you must. Mademoiselle, I a, may B, not C, be rich, but my brother D. left a fortune which will be mine. Oh. Mr. Clark, that's very generous of you. He just pointed out he's going to well, get a lot of money. Has to foot the bill. Mr. Poirot, would it be possible for you to come back to Devon? Lady Clark has expressed a wish to see you. We'll adjust her medicine so she'll not be too drowsy. Oh, she but was the... Course, I shall come the day after tomorrow if it is convenient. Thank you all for coming. We will meet again soon. What did that accomplish? The meeting was most fruitful. Really? Hastings, I believe now we have everything we need to find a common point between the victims. Now it is time for us to use our gray matter. Devin starts with a D. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Not fucking brain cells again. Gigi, thank you for the bits. Not this. Sea Bear, thank you for the 16 months. Oh. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Come on. Thank you for the bits. I just start pulling ants out of my noses. What do the victims have in common? Well, they were all sad and dead. Is that one? Oh, they had cough medicine! Wait, two of them did. The body was still warm. Problems with her voice. Retired doctor. Wait, we have a doctor? Someone who... All three of them suffered from throat the affliction. suffered from bad throat. And that was precisely the specialty of the third victim. Dr. Clark. We have oh, a lead. He specialized. We to take a closer look at the medical records of Dr. Clark's patients. We'll do so during our next visit to Churston. I will do it myself, mon ami. You must remain in London just in case ABC sends us another letter. Very well, as you wish. So someone who had access to the doctor's records, I would think. And then came up with A, B names. Thank you for coming, Mr. Poirot. Lady Clark is waiting for you in her bedroom on the first floor. I have a question. Please excuse me, I cannot stay for the interview. I have to take Miss Gray to the station to see our lawyer in Torquay. Is it the same as the book? Because I'm pretty sure I remember it, what happened in the book. But I don't remember this, so maybe I don't remember the book. Ask if Thor is going on holiday. Ask if Thor is leaving her job. I don't care Are either you way. Tristan for good? <laughs> Miss Gray very kindly stayed with me to settle my brother's affairs. But naturally, she prefers to find a position in London. What was that? Ah, très bien. I'll is she having throat morning, problems? Mr. Poirot, but the nurse is coming soon. She's to ensure that the dose of medicine doesn't make that? our patient drowsy. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Have a nice trip, mademoiselle. Bye, Flops. Can't wait to snoop around your sad house. Mm -hmm. It would be rude to make Lady Clark wait any longer. Oh, really? Oh, they've got like a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have to look in the mirror. We have to get our... What are they called? Pompous points? Ego points. Is she upstairs? I don't remember. Yeah, that was good lighting. This is good lighting too. Uh-oh. I remember she's sick, but I don't remember what she's sick from. Not this reading challenge on her. This poor woman is very ill. 
dazed as awful nail beds of coke. Her fists aren't clenched and painkillers. I know this, this is not is the reading challenge that we need. No state to have a conversation. Is she in pain? She needs the medic. She needs the medical stuff. It would be rude to make Lady Clark wait any longer. Oh well, do I talk to her? I don't think she can be in. He just says she's not in any state. Mister Poirot. My respects, Madame. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Have you seen the nurse? She should have been here by now. Oh, I'm sorry. What's she sorry about? Is oh, okay, I'll go get the phone. It sounds like it's coming from this way. Oh, can I look in the mirror? Oh. No, get the telephone, Poirot! My God! The, it sounds like... Are these in the right ear? Yeah, that's the left one. Okay, let me go get the phone. Excuse me, Lady Clark. Oh, that's a phone. The Clark residence. Detective Hercule Poirot speaking. How do you do, Mr. Poirot? I'm Lady Clark's nurse. I wanted to let you know that I won't be able to come for her injection. Uh-oh. Might Miss Gray be able to do it? She has just left, but I will take care of it. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, you'll find the skeleton key to open the medicine cabinet hidden in the lion trophy. You can count on me. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Oh, thank you kindly. Goodbye, Mr. Poirot. Is this not, is it going to be poison? Is this a setup? They said by Lady the luck. is in pain. I have to give her an injection of morphine to ease her suffering. Morphine? They used to just give people morphine. Lady Clark didn't is they? in pain. Oh. I have to give her an injection of morphine to ease her suffering. Oh, I should have been listening. What? Did they say the key's in here? Here is the skeleton key. Cool. Okay. Oh, there was something else I was supposed to see. Let me look at that again. It says there's two things to see here. April 1925. Oh. Aceh province, Sumatra. I think that's wrong. I think that killing the lion was wrong. That's just me. That's just me. It is not the right time. That's just me. Hannah Banana Games, thank you for the six months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Now, where did they say that? That the po the poison is? oh the medicine is not poison maybe poison. Lady Clark is in pain. I have to give her an injection of morphine to ease her suffering. Shouldn't have killed the lion. Now let's go give this woman morphine. <laughs> not that that vanity is cute. It's very mid-century modern, which I think is a little overplayed, but it is very cute. Lady Clark is in pain. I have to give her an injection of morphine to ease her suffering. Uh, dear chat, do y'all remember? Do you keep morphine in the fridge? Lady Clark is in pain. I have to give her an injection of morphine to ease her suffering. Well, we could give her the injection. Give her an injection. Oh, she's got cancer. She only has a few months left to live. You freeze it like a popsicle. They said something. I thought they said something about a closet or a chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah. I want to know where it is. And y'all don't have to worry about like... um. This skeleton key would be very useful for opening the locks I have not yet been able to open. It opens all the doors. 
We, I don't have no back seating turned on. Y'all just like let it rip, you know. Lady Clark is in pain. I have to give her an it's injection. It's in the vanity. Of oh. The suffering. Well, this isn't. This game's pretty linear, so I don't. I don't think it matters too much about backseating. Oh, I bet it's in here. Oh, but there's two things to look at. Is the th second thing morphine? Ah, oh, Mr. Poirot. Oh, I feel better now. Mama, Thank give her the good stuff. I, I, I guess anyone can... Well, I don't know the really the rules in the 1930s in the UK. Remind her of her invitation to come and see her. Ask her. Would you get you the point? You are tired, so I will get straight to the point. What can you tell me about this business? What business, Mr. Poirot? Not no confusion. Doubt. You wish to talk to me about what happened <laughs> to me? the work. Ah, yes. Confusion. Oh, poor Carmichael. Has the madman who killed him been caught? Not yet, chère madame. There was a great many people in Cheston on the day of the murder. Indeed. People go straight to the beach. They don't come near Coombe Side. So, there were no strangers around the house that day? Who said that? The people who live here. <gasps> the in law Miss Grey. Miss Grey? Oh, I don't like her. Franklin wanted her to stay, but I insisted she should go immediately. You are entitled to do so, naturally. I'm pleased that you approve. The others have been taken in by her. But at least you can see through that self pity. What's she up to? See what she's up to. And what's oh. that? Oh. Oh. She passed. Oh, she's snoring. Oh. Oh, oh I just the heard. The subject would probably be useful to me. I just heard. Uh, what did I just pick up? Oh, I picked up the one of these. Would probably be useful to me. Now I have two of them. I wonder what they do. I wonder what this is. Combined with something. Oh, mama. Snap them together. Snap, snap. Oh, this one has a two on it. This one has a three on it. She really just, well, she deserves to sleep. She's fine. She's vibing. I don't know why she's leaving this shit. This is 1930s. Oh, so this is. Okay. Bye, Whitney. Glad you got to be here. Thank you for the bids. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Gigi, thank you for the bids. They sold what? Is my phone? Some of the music in this game sounds like a phone alarm I to must me. Find a way to wake up gently. Oh God. I must find a way to wake up gently. Wake. Her Oh, we're trying to wake her up? We're trying to wake... Chat, we have to wake her back up. I must find a way so to So a music her box, gently. right? We drop the lion on her head and we say, I'm against this. <laughs> we drop a book on her I head. I am not going to leave Comside now. I still have some things to do. I, I mean, yeah, I would pick up smelling salts or something, or... It is not the right time. Uh, there's a time and a place for everything, Mama. I must find a way to wake her up gently. Me? I would... I would set off the house alarm. I, must I would find a way to wake get up a, gently. Mama, air horn. There'd be an air horn involved. 
um, air horn. I would um, throw something out the window. No, I don't think that's. A, oh, there's a there's a radio. I didn't see that. How unobservant of this me. This couple appears to be having fun. Oh, is that them? Lady Clark and Sir Carmichael. Oh, Margaret Thatcher. That's a picture of Margaret Thatcher. Lady Clark, radiant. Fun game of croquet. We do Lady have Clark fun. Lady Clark and Sir Carmichael were very happy, but they did not have any children. Weird thing to comment on, but okay. Thinking. <laughs> oh, okay. These play different songs, I imagine. The bronze comb is preventing me from positioning this one. Oh, and there's a broken I have spring. To put a new spring here. Can I take this one out? Take that one out. Um, I'm pretty this sure I need another one to too. Oh, yeah. Put your spring there. I hope that Hastings will not be cross with me. Oh yeah, we took that out of his pen. This part appears to be working. I think I'm gonna need the other part too. I think they stack like one, two, three. Well, let's just see what song that plays. Mama, close the fucking box. Does not make any sound. Oh, other way? Does not make any sound. Does not make any sound. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it. We'll find the other part. Maybe it's behind one of the pictures. Yeah, that's fine. I can restart the puzzle. I remember the one thing I did. <laughs> Now what? Lady Clark and Sir Carmichael were very happy, but they did not have any children. It's a weird thing to comment on. It's a really fucking weird thing to comment on that I don't think he should comment on. <laughs> Is she holding the other one? Let's look at her. She's it might sleeping. be on the dresser. Oh. I must find a way to wake her up gently. I would just snoop the entire finished with this subject. house. Just snoop I'm around the house. The this is your moment. Oh, wow. Okay, now I can look over here. There it is. The subject would probably be useful to me. I would not have looked back there. I thought I was clicking on her. Okay, back to this. It's time to think. One, two, spring. See, money. Thank you for the bit. Uh, we're about thirty minutes in to this one, to this game right now. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Mama, spin it. Mama, let it go. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Faro. Okay, get up. Let her rip. Is it making noise? Can you close it? This Can part we... appears to be working. That's good to know. Do we lock this him in? This part appears to be working. This part appears to be working. That's good to know. It's good to know. Can I... I want to look over there again. I was looking over there, and now I don't get to look over there again. Oh, there we go. Womanizer, woman, you're a woman, woman, womanizer. It starts playing womanizer. And she rips off the rope, reveals, like, leotard, backup dancers. I I'm ready for something gay to happen. Oh, 
what are we talking about? <laughs> Not this. Uh, yes. Yeah, you hated her. Why'd Paula you hate her? Gray. Oh, Carmichael had great esteem for her. But for me, she was nothing but a hypocrite. Not sneaker night. Put your sneakers on. Approve. You're probably right, madame. Just, you just agree with her. Through her. I'm so pleased that I've oh, convinced Diva, you. not again. Not again. Oh, she's... The morphine just hit. Did you see her? She snapped her eyes open. Remind her that Thora is an orphan. Admit being wrong about Thora. Well, I appear to have been wrong about Thora Gray. So you all agree how nice it is to be all of the same mind. Ah, she did it again! <laughs> Why are we getting closer and closer to her? Miss Gray did look after you very well, though. Outwardly. But she's hiding something. I think she tried to poison me. Miss Gray, a poisoner? But everybody appears to like her. It <laughs> Literally she sitting on her doing. lap. She's manipulative and she's a liar. A liar? Let's see, didn't she say that on the day of the crime nobody was around Coombside? That is correct. I guess. Well, at 11 o'clock I saw her talking to... Someone. Really? And what was this man like? I wonder if she's... An ordinary sort of man with a very plain face. I wonder if she knows ABC. Oh, I don't remember well. Was he a gentleman? No, he was not, not a gentleman. It would be best to leave her to sleep now. The telephone in the hall is ringing. Did she die again? Hello? Poirot, is that you? Hastings here. Thank you for calling. Have you received a new letter from the murderer? No, thank goodness. How are things in Churston? I question Lady Clark, but I will not leave until I have examined everything of interest to me here. Fortunately, Franklin is absent. I would and not I answer someone else's key. phone. I sure would not. Have you seen Thora Gray again? Briefly. But rest assured, I intend to summon her to London soon. She's a fascinating girl. But secretive. I would like to ask her a few questions. Poirot, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Each to his own, my friend. Yours are pretty often mine old ladies that have the maladies. Poirot, are you mocking me? No ill intended, rest assured. A bientôt, mon ami. What? New object. Inspect the mansion. Finally. How am I going to open this trunk? Not thinking again. Not more thinking. Oh, what? 1927. Not dilly dallying with the handles. Should I leave that one up? Oh. That does not appear to be very useful. Really? I thought it was interesting. It's a handle. Oh, yeah, well, let's just make this 1927 then. This would be a two. This would be a seven. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? It can't be 1927. Oh! <laughs> Leaving the code on the trunk. Oh no, there's the more code! character Franklin is. Oh no. Oh, that's going really slowly. So... 20. 
I wonder what I have to... Maybe these have to equal something. 31. That one said 31. I bet I can make these spell out 1927. Is there a 19? Can I... Can I flick this one another way? Oh, this one's locked up at seven. Oh, hey, Rapture Rise. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, big Tomb Raider fan. I'll be playing more Last Revelation on uh, uh, thurs Thursday or Friday this week. I don't remember. What's the schedule this week? What happened in 1927? I'm doing good. We're just trying to, you know, solve some murders as you do on a Tuesday. A lot of, uh... Wait, those same four people have been in other ones, other pictures too. Not that's the year I was born. Thursday? What are we playing on Friday? Yeah, I, I fully have. Oh, yeah, we're playing Siberia on Friday. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited that I remembered. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the clock has to be set. Oh, I bet that these numbers have to do with the clock. But what? So it could be seven. And then what was that number? I don't know. Oh, and there's the dots. 720. I wish it were 420. So f seven. So what is this sound? How did that even make sense? How did that even make sense? I should be able to open the trunk now. There we are. Big brain. I don't know why those four, why I chose those four. Oh my God. A pile books? of books, including one about dragons. Nothing interesting. He said they only read sad, bad books. We have to zoom in so many times. <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> Daddy's liquor? Whiskey and other good quality drinks. Wait! Mr. Clark really has refined tastes. What is the, what's the, what's the one that, Daddy? Whiskey what's the and one other that, good um. Quality drinks. Mr. Clark really has refined tastes. The guy drinks some kind of whiskey or something? The murderer or whatever? That one's empty. Right? It kind of looks like there's a slot over here. Whiskey and other good quality drinks. Mr. Daddy? Clark, he has refined tastes. Can I open this one? Thank you. God, imagine opening drawers this slowly. Oh, this looks like fun. Daddy's toys. <laughs> Why has Franklin put an Allen key? Oh, it's an tank? Allen key. I'll borrow it for a minute. So we're taking the key, but not the drink. Whiskey and other good quality drinks. Mr. Clark really has refined tastes. Imagine having to do all of this shit every time you want to open your cabinet. I just, I just don't think that's very practical. Oh. Is there something else that's supposed to happen in this puzzle? It said I have to start over. I think that's it. It feels like it. Unless the Allen key goes somewhere. Oh, wait, wait, there was a hole on the top, wasn't there? Oh, I guess we'll zoom into it.
Do I have to like chain? Oh my god. The alley key comes from trunk. You can be. It's this one right here. Oh, I have to change the position of the Allen key. By the way, I don't think this is what an Allen key is. I mean, I guess it could be. But I thought an Allen key was like the hexagon or whatever. Not this. Yeah, I thought that was the Allen. The, an Allen key was that shape. Oh, that's an Another Allen key. wrench. It can be used in five positions. Not that. I think that's the one I need. Not a Pokemon trading card game. If I have to do that again. Oh, cool graphic and though. That's cool. Can I see the whole picture now? Oh, wow. Okay, there's one on each side. Those screws don't even leave holes. This engraving is not very easy to understand. Oh, I need to shit. Sort it out. That's a puzzle. That's slide puzzle adjacent. It is blocked. Reconstructing the engraving may release it. When I tell you... If I were a detective, I would go everywhere with a, with a, the biggest knife. <laughs> so that this shit didn't happen. We would get shit open because we would have a knife. We wouldn't leave shit unopened because I would have a knife. We would have a sawed off shotgun. Oh shit. Some of these have to be moved together. Oh, don't tell it me the blocked. middle. Can I can I turn the middle one? <gasps> oh shit! I changed them all to the outside when I'm supposed to match them up with the inside. I was supposed to match them up with the inside, but I matched them up with the outside, which I can turn. Okay, is that Australia? This is the this is the UK and Ireland. Okay, it's not Australia. This is Ireland. This is Northern Ireland. So I just actually turned the UK the wrong way. Why does he just have a map of the UK? It's the way I still didn't match it up, right? Does it go like, it goes like that. And Ireland's like over there. Oh my god, I can't picture it this way. I did great the other way, but this is not what the UK looks like. It's not leaning that much. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. It is blocked. Oh my god, is it one off? Oh, I didn't change the outside one. Uh oh. Oh my god. Franklin must really love his country to have an engraving in his trunk. I think uh, I heard the panel above release. There's more than one country there. That's the UK. Not a, a Rorschach test. A signet ring with a code written on it. 1587. It may be useful to me. Several countries. Did he take the ring? He took the ring. That sticky fingered little penguin. Kit Moss, thank you for the bits. Diamond Lake, thank you for the bits too. We are big brain in it today. Monica, get some good ones. Thank you so much for the bits. Kit Moss, thank you for the bits too. It Carly, thank you for the bits. 
Oh, we really just unlocked the door and let ourselves in. Kelly Ripley, thank you for the bits. Oh, have a good one. Uh, and it Carly, thank you for the six months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Comside's private collection. We already saw this book since 1920. The catalog for Sir Carmichael Clark's collection. Okay, I guess he's not interested. We've actually already Sir explored Carmichael's this room. Collection could rival that of a major museum. Because this desk had an opening mechanism. <gasps> One of the knobs was missing last time, and now it's back. I see some papers that were not oh, it's still gone. <laughs> oh, the papers are new. Valuers report property. Building. Oh, I cut him off. Court and Brunskill. The name is familiar. Is that not the name? Who's Don? <gasps> Donald Fraser. I remember His him. Are only ceremonial weapons. I do not think that the crime weapon is here. But one is These missing. These are only ceremonial weapons. I do not think that the crime weapon is here. Okay. Okay, Flop. I do think that it is. Ernest Luggan, MD Brighton Cancer Institute, 201 Dusk Road, Brighton, Sussex. To Sir Carmichael Clark. I think we already read this. Baby Clark. Your wife is suffering Keep her at from a home. terminal cancer. She's about to die. I estimate that Lady Clark. So, okay. That's it. I saw it all. Not y'all nicknaming him Eyebags. Don not Donald Eyebags Fraser. The door is locked. He used the key. Oh, I was about to say he used the key once and threw it away. The, the, the decor is the good. The records for Sir Carmichael Clark's patients. Let us study them closely and see if they are. We're going through the medical names. records. No. No dust on the records from A to D. They've been handled recently. No, so no names. A to D. Disappointing. We find a record on ourselves. Lots of dust. The records from E to Z have not been touched for years. So they really only... They're no, really... No names. Disappointing. Oh, there's no no names, though. That's suspicious. That has to be... Was there a hippo violation in the 1930s? So I don't Carmichael's know. Michael's collection could rival that of a major oh. museum. Nothing on the table is interesting. There is a door. Order and method above all. Oh. Let us finish examining the mansion while no one is around. Got it. There was another shelf in the other room I don't think I looked at. I already did this horrible puzzle. That's enough. I found it. I did it. I found it. Task... Thora Gray had a task list? Attention, Franklin. Task list. A. Ordering Lady Clark remedies. Done. B. Tidying Update up the tenant room. farmer's list. E. Update land rent accounting. Done. F. Ordering a Order. stock of arsenic. Arsenic! Done. P. S. I have left on the living room table some of my things I don't want to keep. The locket and the dagger. I am sure you know why. Thora. I'd keep them. That stuff's going to be on Auntie's Roadshow. Oh, yeah, she was wearing that lock or that, you know, whatever it's called. A pin. A dark, a dark dragon. dragon for a have made. Oh, weird. He, he gave that to her. That has blood on it. Oh. Already seen similar daggers. There's blood on it. Does he not have anything to say about the blood? He really glossed over the blood. There's one thing I need to look at here. <laughs> oh, we've already seen that. 
Compass Point to the Thals Bronze and Magnetite Han Dynasty circa 210 BC purchased in Hong Kong. Don't tell me I gotta do that. If they recycled this puzzle, I don't think they No 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 Okay okay I got flustered. I clicked it again, there and I, some very valuable I said, objects here. absolutely not. South is upward. Pointing to the south. Traditional Chinese map. Traditional south is up. Chinese map. Facsimile. South is on the top of the map. I wonder if I'm going to need to use those symbols for something. What did y'all catch? You think that was ketchup? Catsup? Okay. No, 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 what did you do? No, 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 I didn't want to look at the key. I wanted to drag the key onto this door. I feel like it was going to make me do that, but I guess not. Lindsay Sue, thank you for the eight months, by the way. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Not thanking. This plate appears to be able to move, but something is blocking it. This plate appears to be able to move, but something is blocking it. That's, J that's John Smith. That was John Smith. I have an Allen wrench. Oh. <laughs> I have a I have a signet ring. The plates around the picture appear to have unlocked. I think I've already seen these symbols on Franklin's trophies. Uh I have not seen these on his trophies. <laughs> Can I get a So each one has two Oh shit. Is this just like what all creatures did he fucking kill? I've seen these? Can I? I'm gonna look this part up. I don't wanna have to look at his trophies again. Ooh, I'm sorry. Agatha Christie, ABC Murders Guide. Ooh. Oh, Game Boomers. Mama, they know. They knew. Oh, no, but they're not working. Map. Examine the map. Click the map. Here's a map. Map. Got it. Open the square. Use the signet ring. The small squares open. Change the footprints of the small animals to intersect the countries that Franklin used as hunting grounds. <gasps> I'm against that. Change the small squares at the top right, bottom right, and middle right side squares. Holy shit. Lioness of Sumatra. Change the small squares at the top right. Small squares? Oh. That's not a lion. Bottom right and middle of right. Oh, okay. The lion okay. of Sumatra. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Change the top left, bottom left. Not Master Sleuth. Change the... Oh, well, maybe it is. Top left. To a, a, a bear? Oh, that's a bear. That one's a bear. Bottom left. That's a bear. And... Top at right side... The Alaskan Kodiak Bear. 
I'm against that, by the way. The top second from... Oh, right. Is this the chicken? Oh, what's a coo- what's a kudu? Uh-oh. That's the same fucking thing. Change the top second from right- oh, that's up here. That's... this one. <laughs> oh, that's a dog. I mean a goat, a uh, bull, bison. Bottom second... Can I look down there now? Brazil. Oh, that one. Uh, no, no, I need to look over there. Why can't I look over there? Here we go. No, these are all... I did these. <laughs> I love to travel. Brazil. Brazil. Oh, the got African it. Kudu. I heard the sound of a mechanism. I heard the sound of a mechanism. Oh. Of protecting one's safe, triangulating one's hunting sites on the map. Yeah, fucking creepy way. So, what was the? It was 1587. If y'all remember, which I do, because I remember the number on the signet ring. These documents are very likely going to help me for the rest of the inquiry. Oh, I wonder if he took these out of the notes. Oh, let me pull this window back up. A dozen gold sovereigns, some shares for the Southern Railway, and some treasury bills. <gasps> they like railways. This is not worth much. Hardly enough to justify your robbery. He loves rail. The murderer loves railroads. A dozen gold sovereigns. A dozen Eton College School Year 1912-1913 Franklin Clark Okay, educated School report for Franklin Clark According to his teachers Franklin was a good student But lacked discipline Sir Carmichael Clark Comes I trust in Devon To Mr. Franklin Clark Peninsula Hotel Salisbury Road Tsinchasui Kowloon, Hong Kong Comside, 1935, January the 12th. Dear Franklin, First, I wish you a good start what? to a successful new year. <laughs> I have received your letter dated December 10th. How did he spell word wrong? My interest against Wang, this robber. Things could have got pretty bad if you weren't a real good-blooded guy. I envy you for that. A real cool-blooded guy? Oh, cool-blooded. Charlotte is moderately free from pain. I wish one could say more. You may remember Thora Gray. She is a dear girl and a greater comfort to me that I can tell you. I should not have known what to do through this bad time but for her. She has an exquisite taste and shares my passion for Chinese art. No daughter could be a closer or more sympathetic companion. Life has been difficult. So but I am she glad was to like a daughter to him? She has a home and true affection. You wrote me you want to stay in China for one more year or even longer. I don't object. The longer you stay, the more opportunities you will have to increase our collection. Nonetheless, you should know that we miss you here and that Charlotte will be gone by the time you come Who back. Who was he writing to? I am... Dear Not Frankie, bathed in his blood. Oh, he was writing Charlotte. to his brother. Well, his brother got to come back in time. Charlotte Clark comes I trust in Devon. To Mr. Franklin Clark, so Charlotte Hotel, wrote Road, to Chim Franklin, Colon, Hong Kong, Comside, 1935. What did she have to say to her husband's I brother? I wish all my heart a happy year 1935. Writing my greeting cards, I have affectionate thoughts for you. Always smiling as a child. Oh, was that her? To oh, was that her brother? Back to us, trunks full of wonder. No, that was his brother. At home, 
everything annoys me. Starting with this young Thora Sir Carmichael is so fond of. I have nobody to share my feelings with, so I write to you. How can I tell you what happens to me? The simplest way the better. Drama. I am doomed. I still have one year to live, no more. How do I know? Wait, what's happening? I opened the secret drawer of Carmichael and read a letter not addressed to me. In this letter, Dr. Logan tells my husband in the most direct way the truth he conceals from me. She Wait, her husband Sir, didn't even tell her that she had cancer? But my husband doesn't know, I know. Please don't tell him. And if he shares the truth with you, act as you were surprised. Carl will probably speak in his usual convoluted way. Okay. It doesn't Does matter it, to oh, me that she's you still are talking. aware of what happened. She's still talking. Um, Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits. Is is Twitch being glitchy for y'all? Paper doll with the oh. 31 freaking months. Thank you so much. Oh, I did all four. Gigi, thank you for the bids. I want to yell at all of them. I would like to yell at all of the people in this game. So we can't even... S oh, that's probably where I would have learned about the bear. July 1920. Alaska Peninsula. Oh. Is Twitch in and out for y'all? Bye, Diamond Lake. Glad you got to be here. Time to look at things. I'm really into looking. Tennis. I guess it has been invented. Guns. Weird. Dead animals. Also weird. Franklin Clark appears to be a typical British gentleman. A good sportsman. A hunter, Wait, a do we have any British people in here? Is it what y'all do? Y'all play tennis and shoot endangered animals? Is that what y'all are doing in the UK? Or just the British Isles, I guess. That doesn't include Northern Ireland, does it? Franklin Clark appears to be a typical British gentleman. A good sportsman, a hunter, a traveler. My, his, my gray brain cells just said something. Sound keeps going in and out on the stream. Is it, so is everyone having trouble today or is it just some people? Has everyone been having trouble with the stream or is uh, Twitch being a little quirky today? So some of y'all are fine. Mm. Oh, this is a pretty cabinet. Oh, not this again. Thanking. So a lot of y'all are fine, but some of it seems to be. Okay, thank y'all for letting me know. Really? Bye, Mystic Spiral. Glad you got to be here. <laughs> a Chinese symbol is engraved on this metal disc. Oh no, that was on the map. That means either no appears to be the wrong way round. It means either north I south. I continue to study this cupboard. It means either north, south, east, or west. The position of this character looks. I did it. It it means oh fuck! They're all like okay, okay. I got this. That's it. This character appears to be the high okay. round. Okay, I do actually know which way characters go, on uh. I don't know what they mean, but I do know which way is up That's and it. down on them. This character appears to be the right way around. I have no idea what these mean, but I will be able to tell right side up. Like this, this character appears to be the right way around. Big brain today. Very good. All the circles are facing the right way. What are they showing me? That's a good question. In fact... I was thinking about that, too. <laughs> we look underneath, and it's a dead rat. The hottest mm, dead rat. Hinge. Nothing interesting. The hottest dead well, rat. Well, well. The characters engraved on this padlock resemble those engraved on the metal discs. They sure do. It's just uh, getting them in the right order, huh? So if there's four combinations, how many different... How, 
How many different solutions are there if there are four combinations? Well, this one only has three of them. Four times four, 16? Four times, no, or do you do, you do four times four times four times four? I'd probably do like the one at the top first. Four times three times two times one. Some of y'all work in statistics, don't you? Is this a cabinet? Chinese symbols. Oh, are these Chinese animals? The central knob, the knob at the left. The larger blank disc in position. This Game Boomer Guide... Oh, yeah, that's for the other puzzle. This Game Boomer Guide doesn't have the... Pi the picture links are broken, so I can't see any pictures. Oh! Oh! I'm using touch controls! On accident! I told y'all my touch controls are messed up, so when I touch my second monitor, the touch controls activate for the first one. Oh! <gasps> Imagine playing these with touch controls. <gasps> Imagine on a tablet. Motion controls. Dead murder motion controls. Arrange the characters to show the clues. Oh my God. It literally just says arrange them like these pictures. And the picture links are broken. To show the clues, it says arrange the characters on the lock at center to show the clues on the arranged characters. That's not a sentence. Yeah, can't we just shake her no, awake real it's quick? It's not the high code. Let's check the chat. Oh, I bet it's like, oh, these are in position. I understand. So this one is that one. Okay, I do understand. So slanting one, that one. Okay, I think I got it. When I tell you that I have a memory. At last, the cupboard is open. I have one, not another gun. A net, flask, and rifles. Franklin is very well equipped. A net flask. Oh, he has a hat. The Brag kid about it. E Nesbit. Not the real. Is this the boxcar kids? Oh no, is this a real book? For Franklin. Wait. On Tefis Christmas, <laughs> this 1910. Is... Why doesn't the game at this point just say, Franklin did it? I'm pretty sure Franklin did it at this point, right? Gentil and wild. Because he likes railroads. Loves railroads. Not, I've never seen a book before. <laughs> Traveling oh, in China, travel. A practical guide for English travelers. I love to travel. Oh, and he would have known how to get in all his stuff because he spent all that time in China. I don't know. Oh, Kit Kat Moss, I hope it's okay now. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Mortal Ambiguity with the 25 freaking months. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm, I hope it's working again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I never looked at this shelf. Okay, let's look at the book. Oh, it's a dragon. He said something about dragon another time. To Franklin, like who will Dragon's never grow curse. up. To Franklin, who <gasps> will never grow up. January 25th. January 25, 1928. That's Car two child. days before my birthday. I was also born in 1928. Is that an iPhone? Is that an iPhone? 
Monica, welcome back. Thank you for the bits. On a staring con... <laughs> Thank you again, Kick at Moss. And uh, Anora, Anora Mariska, thank you so much right. for the 12 months. I appreciate that. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Thora Gray, Comside, Tristan Devon. Arsenic. Arsenic trioxide thallium. So Thora, Miss Gray ordered the arsenic, but I think she ordered it for Franklin. Unless her and Franklin are in on it together. Not that's a zoon. Oh, I already looked at everything I was supposed to. Um, how much more of this is left? I want to know if we're gonna finish today. Let me look. Oh, we're pretty. We're pretty far. Got more gray brain cells to do. Hmm. Oh, there might be enough for one more. Maybe. Let's see how far we get. Dream where we have to interpret dreams at one point. Me and Sam have to record the podcast at six. So I'm just seeing what's going on. I am not going to leave Comside now. I still have some things to do. Um, did Franklin do it? Dear chat, did Franklin No no don't tell me. I think I can go outside this door now. I think there's a garden I need to look at. <laughs> Have Sam join the stream? He's Where in Montana the right now, I believe. Coming from? The horrible smell of... Oh, doesn't carry on mean dead animal? Dead, sad? Is there something dead and sad over here? Why does it sound like someone's peeing? Oh. A big old piss. Someone's really pissing. Oh! The raven. Hey, Grell and Poe. a very relaxing sound. If I hadn't stopped to go to the bathroom, that fountain would be making me pee my pants right now. Oh, no, no. What's over here? I would like to congratulate Clark Scadiner. Oh, he likes symmetry. He would not like my face. Mama, the two sides of my face aren't even related. Oh, it Paul Rose back at the Clark's house. This fire. Look here. I wonder if someone wanted to get rid of these papers. This object would probably be useful to me. Not this cosmos. I picked up the burn documents. I'm assuming I can... Well, I don't know why I would put them together. I just disappeared. Oh! Not this. Did they bury him on the fucking mountain? Is he sad and buried on this mountain? May you have peace, Carmichael. Charlotte. She didn't write that. <laughs> she didn't write that. <laughs> Not this. Yeah, this background's really cool. I love the art style in these games. I really love the art style. Y'all, the grass still hasn't perked up from where the killer was, like, popping a big fucking squat. The killer was really just perched. Where is the <laughs> you you thank you for the from? bit. Oh, yeah, look in there. Clark's greenhouse. It must hold some rare plants. Let's go in. They just... They just rolled him right off the cliff. And they said... Why can't I go in the greenhouse? Rolled him off the cliff. Saved a lot of money, probably. Okay, so we smell a dead animal. It wasn't in the... Oh, is there more stuff over here? Do y'all see anything dead and sad and... Oh, there's this something. The wisteria is in full bloom. The wisteria is not in full bloom. There is literally nothing blooming right there. Maybe I didn't check the whole wheelbarrow. That means dead and rotting, I think. Carrion? 
Carry on. I finished. Bye, with Shelby. Object. He's finished with that object. All right. Y'all see anything dead? That same crow has flown by about five times, which is a really weird thing to happen. I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't understand why we're investigating this much. I think we have more than enough evidence to, like, convict someone. <laughs> if someone has tried to get rid of this... They didn't try very hard. I bet you could still read that. Oh! This was Tyria. We're suddenly zoomed in. Do y'all see anything dead? Are those birds dead? This was Tyria. No. This is like when I'm stuck on a place in Nancy Drew and I just end up wandering around. Except it takes him so long to walk anywhere. At least in Nancy Drew, I can click really fast. Okay, so something around here is dead. Oh, well, there was a dead body. It's up the steps. Oh, he just said something. Oh, dead sad rat. Oh, is that the arsenic? Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. But I only saw one thing. I wanted to see at least three. Why did Thor leave personal belongings? She didn't like him, right? Got it. Uh, Thor left behind a letter. Thor does not want to be accused of theft. Smart. Everything that Thor Grey has left behind comes from Sir Carmichael's collection. He most probably gave them to her. But oh. she chose to leave them here rather than run the risk of being accused of theft. It is Let us now try and get our brain. Oh my god. Am I what what murder am I solving now? Rat starts with R. You can't skip that many letters. Is Thora a poisoner? Well, there's a dead rat, there's some poison, and there's more poison. You think it would be those three? You think it would be that she ordered poison? And there's a dead rat? Oh. Thora Gray never considered poisoning Lady Clark. That's what I Thora said. Gray had no reason That's to what kill I said. We had a few months left to live. <laughs> the poison she ordered was for rats. The gardener must have made good use of it, considering the stinking remains on the path not far from the property. Those, I'm sorry, there's I'm a lot of detail here. in this game, and then there's the these flowers. Back and inform Hastings that I'm returning to London. The flowers are squares. Do y'all? The gardener does not follow the alignment. There, that's better. It is <laughs> symmetrical. No, Paul wrote messing with the crime scene flowers. Ram pellet. Revolt. Did I look at the dead rat? Okay, I saw the dead rat. What else is there to look at? Oh, that's all three things. All right, let's go home. Not their cubist. No. <laughs> Oh, I really had to pee, though. I drink a lot of coffee. I might have a third cup of coffee today. I gotta do the podcast. Y'all know when it, what, anything happened in the news? Wait, are we just leaving her on morphine asleep Before in the... Leaving, I have to put the skeleton key back. New question available. Is Thora a poisoner? Oh, I already answered that. Um, I saw, I had started playing, um, April and then there was none. Perfect. Uh, and it was a different kind of setup, if I remember correctly. That one's a lot older, I though, I think. 
Wait, what? I am not going to leave Comside now. I, see. I thought he said he was done. Are the wastings? Oh, I have finished we needed Chester. to call him. I will take the first train. Tell me, do you know how to restore <laughs> writing on a burned document? Oh, can we do a... Yes, you just have to soak a cloth... Oh my god, he's glitched and he's spinning around. Paper. <laughs> then the characters appear. Yeah. Oh, he's glitched and he's spinning in a circle. Could you please no, order no. the solution as soon as possible? I'm we all like to... I mean, I can relate a little bit because I have to do fidget when I'm on the phone. As a soir. But this would make me dizzy. Also, this is a corded phone. He's just wrapping himself up like a mummy. <laughs> After the phone call, he f he falls over, and he and it Donald turns out Fraser is he here. was the next victim he of the murder. To see you. What was that? Oh, so Donald Fraser's here to see me. It's time for a reading challenge. This man is tired. <laughs> Cosmos, thank you for the bits. The punching bags? Test the witch, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate that. Miss Andrea C., thank you for the bits. Good to see you. And Pianist Leah, thank you for the bits too. Gigi, thank you for the bits as well. Yeah, that was a, that was a strong P sound. Oh, can we do a poll? Do you prefer pee pee humor or poo poo humor? Pee pee or poo poo? Crumple clothes, unshaven, dark circles. Donald is short of sleep, and it looks as if he didn't even bother to undress before going to bed. That's not comfortable. He slept in a three piece suit. Mr. Padoha, I don't know why I'm here. He came here. Become impatient. Accuse him of being guilty. I don't think he did it. You wanted to talk, and you came to find the only man capable of hearing you. Mr. Prado, since Betty's death, I've doubts about myself. I don't know what to do. And I keep having a horrible dream three nights Is in a row. Is he acting? Encourage him to continue. Have a dream. Let's hear. You tell me about this dream. Why is he dressed like a leprechaun? Oh, he's reassured. That's good. It's always the same. I'm on the beach with Betty. I grab her around the throat and I squeeze and squeeze until she's dead. Her head falls back and I see that it's no longer Betty. It's Megan's face. Have you seen Megan Barnard recently? Yes, our grief has brought yeah, us together. Together? I never really knew they her They were here yesterday. She's really quite a remarkable girl. But I would never tell her about my dream. What's winning the poll? I can't click out of the window right Is it now. Is you are attacking in your dream? No, it's Betty. And once Betty is dead, it's Megan's face that appears in its place. Okay, you've got some Very issues. Interesting. <laughs> Is there something you'd like to Let tell us, Donald? Pee-pee's winning? To work. So instead of poopy down my leg, you want me to say... Pee pee down my leg. How should Donald's dream be interpreted? Donald's tired. Donald's in love with Betty. And he was, oh, he was violent. That part. Donald really likes Megan. And he, he is violent. And he's tired? Oh, probably he's guilt. Probably he feels guilty. He's tired. Um, oh. Oh, no, he, he didn't kill Betty. He likes Megan. He's tired. I would have thought it would have been those three. Pee pee running down my leg in front of Donald. Pee pee running down my leg. What 
One of these combinations is gonna work. Don't worry about it. Please, no. Oh, excuse me, Donald. There seems to be pee pee running down my leg. <laughs> Miranda SOS, thank you for the 13. Did I already say thank you? Thank you for the 13 months. Oh my gosh. Good luck. I'm sending you good vibes. Gigi, thank you for the bits. Um. If y'all were going to pick three of these, how should Donald's dream be interpreted? I think he's tired. He's violent. And one of these. Oh my god. I I just, I don't know. I, I'm not a fucking psychologist. I don't interpret dreams. So let's just look at what it wants me to click because my god. Donald does not kill Megan. Okay, Donald was in love with Betty. Donald does not kill Megan in his dream, and he's tired. Oh, and he likes Megan. Oh, so he liked them both. Don is starting to have feelings for Megan. He feels guilty about abandoning Betty. Okay. God, get over it. Mr. Fraser, I think that the real meaning of this dream is that you are in love with Megan Barnard. Please go on. Do. This dream certainly betrays your guilt. Oh. <laughs> but what do you feel guilty oh. about? Having killed your fiancé? possible or forgetting her very quickly for her sister certainly and this forgetting is perceived as a second death so you i guess i do interpret I dreams now oh. i do not exclude this theory i am simply saying that i do not need to know that fact to explain your dream and your guilt thank you for being frank mr poirot you've helped me a great deal i'm going back to bexhill i'll not take any more of your time up it is late mr fraser and you are tired. I'll sleep on the train. I like trains. <gasps> he likes it trains too! To sleep rot by the sound of the wheels. I still don't understand why liking trains Poor is boy, one of the things that the killer likes. Well, women seem to like him. I think Megan will take care of him. Oh, I remember. Did you order the product I needed? Yes, we'll be receiving it tomorrow. Bien, it is late. And ask Miss Gray to come tomorrow morning. I have a few questions I wish to ask. Fast forward. Fast forward. Only murderers like trains. <laughs> so far, there Mademoiselle, are multiple people who like trains. To answer a very important question. Fairy Godmother, thank you for the oh. 21 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I do kind of think she's the accomplice. That she did not see any... Oh. Am I right in thinking you said that you did not speak to anyone Get her. on the day Sir Carmichael was murdered? It's the absolute truth. Yet, Lady Clark maintained that she saw you talking to a stranger. But she's being sincere. Step. Really? She must have been mistaken. Her oh, eyes twitching. I remember now. I'd forgotten all about it, but it wasn't important. It was just a salesman. <gasps> One of those traders who sell stockings from door to door. The second murderer Can had just gotten new me? stockings. Medium size. Mm, glasses. Dark suit. Well, we know who the murderer hat. is. Not the sort of man you notice. Completely harmless. That's why I forgot all about him. It keeps showing us. Nothing else? He was that very one guy. hesitant and shy. Usually door-to-door -door salesmen are very confident. But he wasn't. MLM. He got roped into an MLM. Um, so... Yeah, it's a guy with his blood on his shirt, but I, he's apparently being helped, or he's helping someone else. I think that Franklin and him are in on it together. You did not leave Cheston willingly, I believe. I don't wish to lie. 
Lady Clark did not appreciate my presence. And Franklin cannot go against the wishes of a sick lady. He is a good man, and he worries a great deal about his sister-in-law. I noticed that you left some personal belongings behind at Churston. It was too risky for you to keep these objects, am I correct? Risky? What was the risk? Astonished. <laughs> Astonished. Oh, she did have the murder weapon. Oh, that's right. Did she do? Was she helping him? Maybe she was helping the murderer. The curse of the dragon is on her? You know very well what Lady Clark might have said if you had kept these objects. Indeed. These objects were gifts. But Lady Clark would have been convinced that I'd stolen them. She is By being sincere. Them, I put an end to such evil gossip. Bien. I must ask you one last question. Please reply frankly with either yes We're or zooming no. in closer. If Clark had died, would you have agreed to marry Sir Carmichael if he'd asked <gasps> you? How dare you ask such a question? Sir Carmichael treated me just like his daughter. And all that I ever felt him was affection and gratitude, nothing else. Thank you, mademoiselle. I will not keep you any longer. Her lip gloss, though, is so great. <laughs> I met Thora Gray on the stairs. Her cheeks were ablaze, and she appeared to be deeply hurt. Poirot, have you offended the poor girl again? I thought Do her and Sir Carmichael were, were father-daughter. But her and Frank her were... An let us see if we can answer it for her. We're... That's how you describe it when people are together. To work. So her and the guy who died were like father-daughter. But then her and his brother were... <laughs> they were ASL. Well, that was, they were like, they were like father-daughter. They weren't related. She was like the housekeeper. She was that, the housekeeper. Would Thora have married Sir Carmichael? No, I don't think so. Found her charming and gave her shit. Thora likes Franklin. Thora is a seductress. That's not even true. I don't know which one of these I would even click. She likes Franklin. Thora is a seductress. She's not even! And even if she was... Thora found it. Thor is, is evasive. Would Thora have married? Oh, here we go. So the the brooch is the one of them. Found her charming, and she's evasive. Thor wanted to be married and certainly would have succeeded in doing so. Wait, but all the things that they were you like father-daughter, right? Things. When Sir Carmichael refers to paternal affection, he's lying to himself. Read this engraving. He's lying language. to himself? A dark dragon for an angel with glossy hair. These are the words of a lover, not a father. Lady Clark was not wrong. Oh. What if Sir Carmichael had fallen in love with his secretary? Oh, that she was his secretary, not housekeeper. True, there are extenuating circumstances. She is a penniless orphan. But she is calculating. Just look how she avoided it when asked if she would have married Clark. That doesn't mean she's I calculating. Think, I think she seduced Sir Carmichael for her own gain, and that now she is doing the same with his brother. Not this. Oh, your world is a very and who place. cares if she did? Do not get carried away, mon ami. We have she was just girl bossing. To settle. Really? Yes. Would you believe that Miss Gray taught me something new? 
Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Not my brain cells again. He really said, yeah. I think she was just girl bossing. Is there another common point? Oh, there actually is. She bought the arsenic. The murderer is a seducer. Oh my God, there's a spelling error. It says Betty's Moffat instead of Betty's mother. <laughs> yeah, the stockings. A door-to-door -door salesman. Oh, is it not the stockings? I thought the stockings were the new thing. Oh, no, we learned about the door-to-door uh, -door salesman. Which is like, I don't know, one of these. For fuck's sake. Miss Asher's personal effects, a stocking. Oh! She had a stocking box in her personal effects. Got it. Box of stockings. She saw stockings and then stockings. It's perfectly clear, Hastings. Perfectly, perfectly clear. clear. The stocking seller visited Andover, Bexil, and Churston on the day of each murder. We have our suspect. This should be of interest, Job. Call the police and tell them to murder all the stocking salesmen, especially the sad, not confident ones. <laughs> Chief Inspector, we are looking for a stocking salesman. From stocking to stalking. Yes, contact all the stocking wholesalers who may employ him. Your suspect is a salesman? No, he does not take orders. He sells door to door. Right, the hunt is on. Whitney, welcome back. Thank you for the bits. Hell yeah, mozzarella sticks. Oh, I was like, what is this? Kit Kat Moss, thank you again for the bits. Yeah, we got we, we got work your gray your gray cell, Are gray you brain cell. Mr. Cust? Yes, That's I'm going the, to Cheltenham. See, Alexander Bonaparte Cust, you ABC. You should travel today. You don't look very well. I have to. Thank you, Kit Kat I, Moss. I have engagements. I must respect them. Sophie, thank you for the bits, too. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. He's going to kill someone again. Can you get the post, Hastings? And why don't you go and get it yourself? <laughs> Hastings Kenya? snaps back, Diva. What's going on? I've never known Hastings to be so disagreeable. Slap him. You s tell him. Are you collecting the? Wow. He could not walk five steps. <laughs> Says no once. Poor Mr. Mr. Poirot. Poirot. I'm quite sorry for you. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. We've a long way to go still. Typery? No, that comes later. Letter T. Next little incident. Not September 11th. Doncaster on September Not this. 11th. So long. ABC. I should compare this letter. Not comparing the fucking letters again. You will collect thumbnails that illustrate your progress in the integrates. To consult your progress, go back to the main menu and access the timeline. What? What is this that I'm holding? Oh, that's the letter I just picked. <laughs> oh my god. Thinking. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Let us examine this. Yeah, we gotta click on the eyes again. Certain characters. I know. Click yes, on the eyes again. I know, click on the yes. eyes again. The eye. I know, I click. Have to find some uh -huh. others. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's the A. Yes. The It's the A again. That's right. The uh, I have uh, to find some other the, similar the, effects the, to the, come. The W. <laughs> mm. Why the does devil. he fucking do this every fucking time? Of course. My theory was right. 
It's we've had Basties. to. That's the third time we've Strikes done that. Tomorrow. Chief Inspector. He's on another line. Can I take a message? Yes, please, Mademoiselle. It is from Hercule Poirot. Tell him ABC strikes tomorrow in Doncaster. He must call me back. Very well, sir. We're gonna li literally, we're going to be yeah, going. No, we have gone through the from alphabet two times by the time he examines the letters. Hastings, if you do not mind, I would like you to take a few notes. Take notes, yes. Flop. Yes. Is he upset because Thor is a murderer? Oh, decipher the burn documents. Where do I do that? If someone has tried to get rid I think, didn't they? I think Hastings told me how to do it, but I wasn't listening to him. I finished with this up. Okay, we're finished with that. Maybe there's something over here. He's going to start with numbers. He's going to start with like... Someone the first, someone the second. Royal it's highly probable that the alphabet murderer. Yes, and it is easy. As to... We already know it's in Doncaster. The... Oh my god! After... We already know it's Doncaster. Daily Blag. August 31. Daily Blag. <laughs> I'm just writing my Daily Blag. Half mast. What the fuck is that? Failure in ABC. Oh, the tabloids Sometimes are reading him. Three more. This ep you know Doncaster? <laughs> blag. Just typing up my daily blag. Calm down. Write about it on your blag if you're so mad. Now, down to work. Oh, I'm doing it over what here. This needs putting in order. I can do this. I know all about thinking. As long as they don't turn. Oh my god. This page will be reconstructed. Oh yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Wait, this isn't burned at... Did they even fucking this try to burn this? Finished. Did they even fucking try Next to burn down. these? Three more. I don't think they even fucking tried to burn these. This if you try to burn something and it looks, it ends up like this... I just don't think you tr even tried to burn it. This page is finished. And that's too done. Why are we having Hastings take notes about this? Hastings is like, why am I here? No, that goes... Oh, wow. Egg on my face. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. This does not look too... I would not have thought that goes there, but okay. This piece should be placed here. No, that piece sure does fucking go up there. Oh, was I doing another one? This page is finished. Okay. Only one more. I, that is not where I put that, but I'll take it. I just don't... I think they want to get this caught. Page will be I think they wanted to get caught if this is how the job this they did. Page is All the pages are reconstructed. Well, don't move them! Oh, I'm supposed to do something else with them now, right? A dry cloth. A bottle of solvent. A dry cloth. Oh, put the cloth over the shit, right? A dry cloth. Oh, pour the solvent a on the shit? Of solvent. Oh, Jesus Christ. He just keeps saying the same thing. A I... dry cloth. Oh, my God. A dry cloth. <gasps> the cloth is stuck. A dry okay. cloth.
a bottle of solvent. They've murdered. I mean, they're... The cloth is now soaked. <laughs> the murderer has gone back around. They're doing the hashtags at this point. Now, what did that do? Got it. Make a note, Hastings. Make a note. Mrs. Ali Sasha, Sharpona in Andover. Tracatis. Oh, they burned. Prescribed Laudanum. I got it. Look. So it's either Thora or Franklin, but I don't know which one. Poirot, where on earth did you find these files? On a fire at the bottom of the garden at Comside. So the oh, files, right. that's the why they were missing from the cabinet. Read the... Why didn't you do, read them first? Alice Asher. Shop. So that's the ones about Alice. Barnard, which... <gasps> See? We're gonna know who D Dick is. Dick Dudley Dunbar. Dick Owner Dudley Dunbar? That's three Ds! Asthmatic, art Hello! Disease, art oh. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Three Ds, hello! Hello! <laughs> oh, also three D, three dimensional. Where do the burn documents come from? Inside the cabinet. There were there. And then also there they are. Came from the medical records. The burn documents <laughs> are medical records and without a doubt they come from Clark's archives. First of all, because all the patients have thought conditions. And secondly, their name starts with either A, B, C, or D. And it uh, is okay. precisely the files so, that match these letters that I know what happened. With. But why burn these files? How come the names of the two victims appear on them? And who are the two other patients? These are very good questions. Now, what had happened was the murderer only wanted to kill one of the people. And, but to make it look more random, to not point the finger at them, they murdered multiple people just to get to the one that they wanted dead. And I think the one they wanted dead was the... C one. And now the D one's just another throwaway, I think. I don't remember. I'm finished with this subject. Girl, you are not finished. Pick up the damn phone. Hello, Poirot. Any news, Chief Inspector? You wanted a stocking seller? We have one. Reported by his landlady who thought he was behaving suspiciously. He has the most unbelievable name. Yeah, killing more people just like they're just collateral. But you don't they're just to throw you off the scent. Answer. Alexander Bonaparte Cust. Yes, Alexander Bonaparte Cust. How did you guess? Poro, you have magical powers. Because I saw him in a cutscene. <laughs> I called Doncaster a person matching Because I saw him in a cutscene. He got off the train from London, but after that, nobody knows where he went. Oh, I don't remember. Search London. Did we say the Black... Were they at the Black Swan Hotel? Look for him at the Black Swan Hotel. Oh, shit! What? I think I read this as How two... You know he's there? Trust me, Chief Inspector. I think this has two endings. You to be very sure of yourself. Very well. I'll call the Black Swan straight away. The owner is going to get a shock when he learns that there's a murderer under his roof. Wait, we don't know if it's at the Black Swan, do we? I just gave him... Let me look at this guide. Four pages. Da, 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 da. Gray cells. Where do they come from? Tell them to look at the Black Swan Hotel. Okay, good. No, we did fine. Do your best, Jack. We'll encourage you him. Can count on me. Hastings, Hastings has a dental appointment. With a little what luck, the fuck? Our main suspect will soon be under lock and key. Did the phone ring again? So has Cust been arrested? Yes, the Doncaster police are sending him by train. Oh, they caught him! That is good news. God damn. But why so gloomy, Chief Inspector? Well, when I told the hotel owner that he was sheltering a murderer, he collapsed. He's dead? No, fortunately, but it has taken its toll on him. 
It has to be said that with his name starting with the letter D, he had every reason to fear cussed. With his name Deadly Dong Dongfast? Admit to knowing Donbar's medical records. Chief Inspector, his I name was Diddly Dong Darnbass. Darnblast. What do you mean? <laughs> I saw Mr. Donbass' medical records. His heart was weak. I should have warned you. Oh, sorry Very about that. He was a flop. I appreciate your gesture. Please keep me informed of his progress. Diddly Dong Dongfast? I'll do what's needed. I will visit him at his bedside when the killer is caught. That's typical of you, Poirot. We should focus no, on the next he really should have warned him. If he had a weak heart, he should have fucking warned him. While we're waiting to question Cust, we could search his room in London. Poirot just does really doesn't care. The Marbury guest oh, happy auntie! Happy that. birthday! Yes, start without me. First of all, I have to sort out a few details for Cust's transfer. I understand. A bientôt. A bientôt. Hastings, we are making T -T good progress. A bientôt. We are searching the room of our number one suspect. With pleasure. I did have a dentist appointment, but I'll cancel. The dentist. So that is why you are so nervous. Oh, and relatable. A visit to the dentist is never an enjoyable prospect. But an unavoidable <gasps> D one. D stands for dentist! I Hastings. I will manage on my own. Oh, I think maybe he would have been murdered. To Marbury Guest House, please. D is for dentist. Hastings is gonna murder the dentist! Marbury. There is a very pretty village by this name. We save the D. Save the D. Save the date. Not walking behind How the counter to talk he to her. Mr. Elkil Praro. Chief Inspector Chap told me that you might be coming. Get annoyed seeing her peel potatoes. I do not think that this is the right time to be peeling potatoes. My lodgers have got to eat. But you mm. are contravening health regulations. Well, it's not as serious as killing someone. He I looked at someone's medical records. Oh, wow. I suspected him for some time, but he appeared so harmless. Oh, yes, sometimes he got She's angry. She's shaking the knife at me. But even then, he wasn't frightening. And he was as gentle as a lamb again immediately afterwards. It was only this morning that I understood. He told me he was going to Cheltenham, but my daughter saw him at Euston Station. It's not the right station. Can you put the knife down? We have to take the train from Paddington. And what's more, Mr. Cuss left behind an ABC with Duncaster underlined. But when I see how I'm being treated, I wonder if I was right. Congratulate her. Ask her how she knew about the ABCs. Who told your sad ass about the ABCs? <laughs> How did you learn your ABCs, Sad? One moment, please. How did you know that Cust had underlined Duncaster in his railway guide? I... I went and had a look in his room. Jail. See. Prison. Do you make a habit of searching through your lodger's belongings? Well, what are you going to do later? I bet you're going to poke around his room too. But that's my but job. Me, did you have any other reason to suspect? We Mr. really Cust? pissed her He's off. He's rather queer. He talks <gasps> to himself. He has a bad cough because of the war. He says. And then he was in Cheston when that millionaire got murdered. I found his train ticket when I washed his coat. He didn't want me to wash his shirt. He washed it himself. But I did see big brown stains on it. <gasps> Poopy on my shirt. Oh no. Poopy down my shirt. Poop. Oh, how did the poopy get up there? Do you think it was blood? It might have been. Cut used to travel for his work. Is that correct? Yes, although he was unwell on trains. Do you know where Cust was at the time of the murder in Andover and Bexhill? On June the 21st and July the 25th. 
No idea. But surely you We really that. pissed her off. It won't do you much good. Mr. Cuss rents his room for the year. If he goes away for a few days, I have no reason to make a note For a year? Ah, I remember one thing. Bexhurst by the sea, right? Yeah, it's called Bexhill on Indeed. Sea. It is a large seaside resort. Well, as it happens, at the start of July, Mr. Cast asked me to repair his bathing dress. Suspicious, huh? Please continue. Very interesting. Please continue. I also forgot to say that he started buying newspapers that talked about the case. Not the zoom in. <laughs> okay, stop. Which newspapers? The evening ones and the daily ones. That Dry. <laughs> I'm going to take is a he, look at his room. Is that talking about her skin? Mama, where's the moisturizer? Oh, let's just look at her. This woman appears to be in a bad mood. She's been housing a murderer. Uncommunicative posture. <laughs> Jerky movement. <laughs> what is this? I was gonna say ugly necklace. Something over here wants me to zoom in. Annoy face. <laughs> Whoa! He is Mrs. going Mama, he is in on her. Mood on the evening meal's potato. Ashley, thank you for the bits. Pro's the guy always calling bylaws on his neighbors. Has the HOA house rules. I should check the register. Oh yeah, where's she hiding? I don't think my register will help you. Has Mr. a book Cuss of all the HOA you. rules. If he goes away for calls a few you days, out. I have no reason to make a note of it. Uh, Mayonnaise, thank you for the bits. Not Megan from the hit movie, Megan. The truth is becoming apparent, and I have something to say to Mrs. Oh, what do we have to say to her? Mrs. Marbury, if I am to believe the register, you rented room 306 to a certain Mr. Fishman on the day of the Bexil murder? Room 306 is Cust's room. Can you explain yourself? Aha! Uh -huh. If I did, it was because Mr. Cust wasn't here. What about it? Caught. Accuse her of being a crook. You rented the same room to two people. That's fraud. Calm down, Mr. Poirot. My lodgings were full and I couldn't let poor Mr. Fishman sleep outside. You let someone piss in his bed. I got ego points for that, by the way. <laughs> Eight and three. All right, can I go check out the room now? Gigi, thank you again for the bits. I appreciate it. Moved on to Wingdings. How oh, hopeful. This place is a real mess. <laughs> you did not just say that this place is a mess. There is nothing out of place. Oh, I guess there's some plates. Oh, wow. He would hate me. Slightly misaligned bed. Pants. Poopy pants on the chair. The least we can say that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. Poopy pants on the chair. Oh, he's ABC got a whole guys, box of these. Enough to sign about a dozen murders. He wasn't even committed to the it's whole close. alphabet. He was only going to do a dozen murders. It's closed. I can't open. Do I have a knife? Oh, I have a key. It's closed. Oh, I don't know what you want me to do about ABC. that. ABC. I'll come back with some scissors. Mmm. Twitch is having minor quirks. Some minor quirks today. Cough medicine. Morphine. Laudanum Cameron's Chemists. Laudanum, oh, Morley. A medicine for coughs. It is what Dr. Clark prescribed. Okay. The subject would probably be useful to me. Not him taking the drugs. 
sedative. Chloroform. Chloroform. That's what it says right there. It is a powerful sedative. The subject would probably be. <laughs> Not him stealing all of the stuff. We have to finish this today, don't we? Oh God, I have two hours still after the podcast. <laughs> okay, that's fine. My voice will John be fine. Milligan, managing director, Silky Legs, Frederick Street, Leicester. Silky Legs. Baby Cust, Marbury's Guest House. Would y'all buy stockings from him? May the 21st. Dear sir, further to our letters dated 5th and 10th. We'll hire you as a door-to-door -door salesman and we will send your articles by mail, etc., etc., etc. Regarding, et cetera, et cetera. regarding the schedule, please do us following. Go to Andover, go to the hotel. I'm paraphrasing it for you. Went to Andover. It establishes he went to Andover and he probably killed someone there. I have to get the ribbon. How am I going to do it? Oh my god. I have to learn how to take apart a fucking something is blocking. I have to is that do I really have to learn how to take apart a typewriter today? The right hand heel has been removed. <laughs> no. I have never used a typewriter in my life. The left hand heel has been removed. Look, there's the ribbon. It literally says the. It literally says Poirot. Something is blocking the ribbon. Nothing's blocking the ribbon, Diva. Diva, hunty, nothing's. It's it's literally right there. Can I take this off? Oh, and here is the ribbon. Let us see if it was indeed. Girl. I bet we've been. We I knew. I need the ink ribbon for my inquiry. We. Kn oh, it says right there. It says your name, Poirot. All the letters and now. Gasp. It's an ABC. Oh, there's the fucking. Okay, I I'll use this knife to open. A long bladed knife. Oh, so the it's other one wasn't the murderer's knife. I think it was Franklin. They just now made it really Cast seem like it was Thora. He keeps his pencils and sharpens them until there is nothing left. It is clear that he did not grow up in luxury. Not this! Not he uses... He just said... He uses his pencils all the way to the bottom. Guess he grew up poor. Did Cust drop it when he opened the window? Although, wait. Or was it Mrs. Marbury while she was cleaning? What's her name was an orphan. Maybe they knew each other? He said she was poor too. He does just really love talking about His people being poor, very though. Useful. Who knows? Stockings. Stockings. A turd in the sink? Someone beat me to it. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> someone beat me to it. War of 1914-1918. By the King's order, the name of Corporal A.B. Cust, Devonshire Regiment, an oh, so he was an army dispatch. On front, victim of a gas attack. Corporal Cust greatly deserves his distinction. It is not the right time. Girl, it is always the right time to open a door. Oh, that's the door to leave. Oh. The Bexhill Daily Paper. Not sniffing his underwear. The basting dress repaired by Mrs. Oh my god! Hands. Look at that two inch inseam he has. All the main articles referring to the ABC case are here. Those are the cute. Murder onwards. Those are cute. Those are cute. What else am I supposed to look at in here? Oh, here we go. Trousers, white shirts, DC shorts. Oh, we have a would you rather redeemed. Would you rather the Eagle or Steamworks? So what's... 
I know Steamworks is in Chicago. I don't know what the Eagle is. Is that L.A.? Is that in L.A.? The least we can say. That I've only Mr. heard Trixie Trust talk about the Eagle. I don't know what it is. Balance. Um, I don't really like birds, though. It is not the right time. I don't like birds. Oh, the eagle is in many cities. Oh, San Fr I've never been. Um, uh, I don't like birds. Does that answer the question? What else does it want me to... Did I pick up something else? Oh, I have this key. I think that was just the key to the room, though. Can I not look in his bedside drawer? The least we can say that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. No curtains. Well, I mean, I like birds sometimes. I, th I think that they're magical and wondrous. This dark stain. It could be blood. But goodness well, knows and I how like, long um, it has the, been there. No, I think I like birds Does after all. Try and get how Brent sells I just work. thought about it for the first time. <laughs> I've never, I've never thought about birds before. Flannel fantasy, thank you for the four months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Where was he for the Bexhill murders? I don't know. Pissing? Girl. The Bexhill newspaper. Bathing suit. Oh. Got it. Cuss was probably... It takes him so long to accuse someone of murder. The register shows that Cust did not sleep at the guest house on the day of the murder. No use continuing the inspection of this. Goodbye, Mrs. Marbury. She hates us. You again, Mr. Poirot. Oh, she hates us. Good luck with ah, your Chief potatoes. Inspector. I was about to leave. Good evening, Chief Inspector. Welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I've spent ages with the Doncaster She's police. She's nosy. Why isn't she Are listening? You? I have established one fact. On three occasions, Kust was at the scene on the day of the crimes. Oh. Uh, we have a fake Zodiac fact about Pisces from Stara. Well, for one... Pisces will... I had best talk to Chap. Uh, a Pisces I've closely to what will... To say, Poirot. For me, there's um, no doubt. Cust is guilty. Oh, I know what Pisces do. Do you Pisces have any element do. that might prove the contrary? That is what we're going to look for. Are we trying to prove he's not guilty now? Let us now try. Pisces will send you... Ten fucking texts in a row that are each three letters long instead of writing one text that's like four sentences. They will send it all fucking individually. And I know this because my sister's a Pisces. <laughs> and that's how she texts. They will send you ten three-word texts in a row instead of just writing it all out and sending it as one text. Was it possible for him to kill them all? Probably. Um, those ones. Yeah, we know where he was. All that. All that. That's so Pisces. Not this. Not doing it in the chat. We get continuous auto mod messages whenever we do a betting thing. 
I haven't noticed. Are there any common points between Cust and the killer? Uh, yeah. That? Blood? Oh, the ABC books? And the knife. Wait. We have it all. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Is his behavior suspicious? Honestly, pick any three of these. G guilty! It just says guilty. But someone is helping him, too. Is overwhelming. His presence at the scenes... The C'est vrai. However... The blood Mrs. Marbury saw on Cust's shirt may have been his own. Oh, that's According true. According to his medical records, he suffers from hemoptysis. He does so cough up blood. So now the blood throat from behind, and the blood spurted outwards. You would expect the murderer's shirt to be stained on the stage. I didn't think that said buttonholes. Button yet we see quite the opposite. You would expect the murderer to keep the newspaper articles about his crimes. But Cust's collection starts in Cheston, as if it discovered the case rather late. Hmm, I agree, it's troubling. Did he not do it? Mind. Now he's There's like, he didn't do it. Should... When can we talk to him? Doncaster is... As a question... He says he can't... It's plausible. Doctors say he suffers from absences and amnesia. Mrs. Marbury... He may have done the murders in an altered state. A familiar situation. It's not enough to clear his name. Dr. Thompson insisted that even if you don't know what you're doing, you never commit a murder without wanting to. Très intéressant. I shall remember that. Right. You never I'll commit a murder without wanting to? Chief Inspector, I took the liberty of removing a few clues to examine at home. All right, we'll discuss them tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to see if you've missed something. I feel free. I probably did. I wasn't looking too hard. I think it was Franklin. I still, I think I like my theory. I think that Franklin or Thora did it. And then, and they just needed to kill one person. And then, so they pretended they, so they like killed more people. Miss something, me? I am an Aquarius. Hello. Oh, here he is. This man is not in good shape. Oh, time to read the divas. Lowered eyes. Shaking hands. Ugly suit. Crumpled jacket. He is worried and very tired. And other police have been hard on him. Can my brains work again? Oh, my brain cells. I won the trophy Candelabra Mustache. <laughs> Please. What do you want from Is that me? a drag name? Welcome to the stage. Candelabra mustache. <laughs> Present myself. Day, Mr. Cust. I am I'm going to I'm going to skip some of the dialogue. Ah, oh, he's detective. detached. Talk about Oh, why'd you send why the letter? Did you send me a letter before each crime? Oh, that's right. He why did all that. These questions? When <laughs> are you going to stop pestering me? We'll acknowledge his Tanya, innocence. You did not hide these letters. But the question remains, who did? Probably one of my enemies. I have many. Is he blaming it on someone else? I'll say, well, okay. We're going to say... I do not believe oh, that I don't you think you did it. Murder, Mr. Cust. I... I hope not. So he doesn't remember. Insist on the fact that he enjoyed the war. You suffered during the war. It's true. I was wounded. I suffered. But... The army was the only place I His didn't head moves at like two frames per second. Questions? Just orders to follow. But ever since you were wounded, you have absences, bouts of amnesia. And headaches. Aww. 
Professor Clark treated you. Yes, a few years ago he really helped me with my burned throat. Accuse him of the murder, accuse him of the other murder. Get him to believe he's innocent. I don't know. Let me look at the guide, because now I don't know if he did it. Gray cells, uh, Scotland Yard. Look at cuss, Br uh, brain cells. He says he didn't write the letters. Answer, not guilt, not guilt. Oh. <laughs> not this. Oh, these are just gray cells. Get him to believe he's innocent. Easy. Of course, you never considered killing a doctor who took such good care of you? No, no, never. Do you deny being at the scene of the crimes? So? There was no harm in being there. It was only for my work. He loves to travel. <coughs> oh! <coughs> Is, he's like a glitch in the Matrix or something. Are you okay? Oh, I need to give him something. A sedative or cough medicine? Give him the sedative. Okay. Should I just pour it in his drink? I know this medicine. This says give him the sedative. Should I give him the cough medicine? Oh. Take this. It will help you. I guess I'm giving him the cough medicine instead of the sedative. Not Thank you. this. Well, sorry about you not being a murderer. Oh, good God. My shirt is covered <gasps> in blood again. Poopy well, on my shirt. I now know where the bloodstains Mrs. Marbury so came from. Are you well enough to speak? Yes, I feel much better. See, we know you, we know you cough up blood. Calm down. Ask him if he acknowledges. Say that witnesses saw him. They he saw was seen you at all the crime scenes. Yes, I was. I travel a lot, but not for pleasure. I am terribly unwell in trains. He doesn't like trains. It can't be him. But I had to respect my engagements. My employer gave me very precise written instructions about the towns I had to visit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The company you claim to work for, Silky Legs, has never heard of you. And as for these letters they sent you, they were written on your own typewriter. Silky the Legs. The company sent me the typewriter when I started working for them. Yes, but the letters were received afterwards. That would appear that you so wrote it them. It would appear that you typed them before sending them to yourself. Checkmate. I... You, what do y'all know about silky remember. legs? Good God. I don't know what's happening to me. My head hurts terribly. He's having a migraine. I get it. I think now do I give him the sedative? Okay. <laughs> we are just... Giving this Take man this. drugs. It will help you. Kit Kat Moss. Yeah, he's a, he's a legging salesman. He sells silky legs. Oh, thank you. That was a secret trophy. Oh, oh wow. I think I'll be fine. Gigi, <laughs> thank you for the bit. Look at me. You know very well that you committed these murders. Yes, I know. But I'm not wrong in saying that you do not know why you committed them. No, I don't. Wait, what? The inquiry is progressing. New objective. Talk to Jap. Let us leave Cust alone. So he did it? He just don't know why? And? Well, plenty. It Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Not my fucking brain cells again. <laughs> what do we know about Cust's health? Blood. He coughs up blood. 
he had a stain on his butthole. <laughs> that says buttonhole. You can't write the word buttonhole. Okay. You can't just write the word buttonhole. Mentally and physically weak. Oof. Are there any clues that do not support Cuss' guilt? Uh... Do not support his guilt. Oh, the squirting? The blood squirting? And he had no reason. Oh. And his butthole was dirty. Are there any clues that do not support his guilt? Oh, I thought that was what we did. He had no reason. He says he didn't do it. Oh, he didn't know me. Oh, that's right. He didn't know we were Poirot. And the, and the person was sending the letters to Poirot. Ryan, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Tip your local queens. That's a good, that's a good thing to remember. Can we say without a shadow of the doubt? A shadow of a doubt. He had no reason. He said he didn't do it. Hello? I don't see any clearer than before. This is worse. There is one point, Twilight. Securieux. Cust admits that he killed, but he does not know why. What did Dr. Thompson say? Even if Cust killed while in an altered state, it still must have been his deepest desire. He must have had a motive. What? Why? Let's keep it simple. Never mind his motive. He confessed. But you see, he can confess to anything and everything. He denied the murders and then he confessed to them. He confirmed that he never typed the letters. Then, with great ease, I managed to get him to say quite the opposite. Come on, he behaved like a guilty man. He lied to his landlady. No, he, he lied to his landlady. And that means he murdered papers, someone. He that he had always been at the scene of crimes. He must think that he killed and then simply forgot what he had he done. He thinks he killed... What a wow! Let us look at his psychological. All right, let's look at his psychological profile. Now try not the gray cells. Uzi V, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that so much. Is he clever? <laughs> Me <Mediocre>. mediocre. <laughs> not this. <laughs> That's rather bold. Oh, so the killer was bold and he's not. So how do we, when actually the killer's self-confident when he's easy to influence. He gaslit himself into confessing. I don't think he's the killer, but he wrote the things, I guess. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> they say the killer's the seducer, but him? Ugly. <laughs> Without any charm! <laughs> this game is ruthless! Oh, oh, I told y'all! The killer likes trains. Him? Sick on trains. Train sick. Car sick. Uh, cold? And he is... Oh, he's also cold. So, so that's one of them. Is he generous? Uh, he uses his pencil. Oh my god. He uses his pencils the whole way. He sharpens his pencils down to the bottom. Of course he's not generous. You see? Cus but if he's a madman, can we really talk about his character? You know very well that how murderer does not behave like a psychopath. Apart from the signature, there is no ritual repetition in the choice of victims. Very well, very well. You're right as always. So we have no confession, no culprit, no suspect. We've been doing this for two months. Just give me, give me twenty-four hours. All right, let's see how much longer. Oh, this is where there's two different endings. So a gun is involved. Take the taxi. To White Haven, please.
not this. <laughs> They're sounding just Cuts like you. Arrest is a great success for you, Pyro. It's all... No, that's Chaos. not him, though. Ah, mon ami. The devil... Excuse me? We're Patient skipping a little bit. We, we, Everything I'm will be clear once the guests arrive. Best be prepared. Slip a revolver into your pocket before Slip they Slip a do. revolver in your pocket. A revolver? But... Look Trust in the... Me. So this is the decision. Is a... What about telling... Surtout pas. You would... Oh, shit. So at this moment in time, I knew that there were two... Mm. I knew there were two ways that this can end. Look at all those fucking cookies. Right now, we're gonna pick... You know what? I'll leave it up to the chat. Where's the gun case? Uh-oh. Was it over here? <laughs> Where do you keep your guns? Not is that a revolver in your pocket? Oh, I need to look at clues anyway. Ooh. What does it want me to look at? Tristan Devo. Oh. To the left of the door. Oh, to the left of the door. Thank you so much. Okay. We Hastings already looked at... It. Yeah. Oh! Hastings likes killing all the animals, too! Oh, right here, right here. The white ammunition are blank cartridges. The others are real bullets. These ones are blank? The revolver is loaded with real bullets. I still have time to choose blanks. Blanks. Do y'all want to do... Oh, no, it's with has real bullets? Do y'all want to choose real bullets or do y'all want to choose blanks? Blanks. Let's do a quiz. Y'all are gonna... I'll do a poll. I'm gonna make the poll. You chose blanks for your playthrough, so you want to see the real ones? <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all do want real ones, huh? Okay, I'm going to choose real. I don't think y'all can undo that. It's already sick. Oh, now it's 62%. What about telling me what you have in... Surtout pas. You wouldn't be able to play your... Didn't I give him the weapon already? Oh, do I have it? Oh, I have it. <laughs> Can I... What if I shoot Hastings? Voila, I don't trust you with my weapon. It has hardly been used. It is almost new. Well, I don't think it matters. Poirot's not going to die either way. This is not a, does Poirot die? Chief Inspector, it... Yes, sorry. Have you checked the typewriter? Check the typewriter. The, the letter and the ribbon reel. Well, never mind. I... So, are you still... Of course, Chief Inspector. Oh, they're all coming up Why here. Brought us here, Mr. Poirot? Okay, Since who do, who do y'all think? Franklin or Thora? Miss Gray formally identified him as well as... Yes, and the stockings he sold are of the same brand as the ones found at my aunt's. This is all... I forgot However, about her aunt. The case is not closed if some questions remain open. And one question is, why did the murderer send me his letters? Why did he challenge me, Hercule Poirot? Perhaps he wanted to play with you, to taunt you. She is so disinterested. Maybe he didn't like you because you're foreign. I think Franklin. Oh, um, no, I may you're be poor. wrong, but maybe by provoking you, he was looking for glory. All these theories should be studied. Let us now try and. Get I have to pee again. <laughs> I have to pee again. Why did the murker? Why did the murker make a mistake in the address? 
Um, he wanted it to be delivered late. He didn't, the mistake is intentional. That's what I said. He wanted him to be late. Where did the killer send? Why did the killer send his letters? Address not, he wrote because his address is not very well known. Not <laughs> shoot them all that? like in Desperate Housewives. Mm. I have I to pee to again. again. Well, at least I'm staying hydrated. First of all, remember that the murderer made it a rule to oh, always post this his letter part. before the murder. He never digressed from that rule. However, in Cheston, he encountered a problem. The village has only 500 inhabitants. With advance warning, it would be easy oh, to Oh, because Cheston's... So it was the, the, was the, the letter C people. With the wrong address. The plan Franklin or Gray. The plan would have worked if it sent because everybody knows their addresses. The mistake would have been corrected, and the letter would have been on time. That is why the murderer chose me as the recipient. I can't pause now. It's in the middle of a cutscene that I can't fast forward through. So I'm just tapping my feet. At least one of the letters to have a wrong address and get lost. It was very cunning. Absolutely. It is a very subtle plan. I have to wait till the cutscene is over. Up of him perfectly. That of an intelligent, pee -pee down my leg. But that's not how you describe cussed. You are quite right, mademoiselle. Like you are finding Wait, can I pause it? Oh, okay. I'm back. That felt great. So, I'm going to make my final... I did some thinking on the toilet, and I get it. I have my final prediction. I think it's Franklin, and here's why I think it's Franklin. So, uh, Lady... Uh, what's her name? Morphine. Uh, she wrote to Franklin to say that she was almost de dead... And then he was like, well, I'll get the inheritance if I kill him, too. And then they'll both be dead and I'll get the money. I don't think it was Thora. She was she already knew that she was going to die and she could have just married him and gotten the money. That's what so I th I'm pretty sure it's Franklin. There is a clever murderer we are looking for. Do madmen. I mean, if he's mad, he might have two very different sides. No doubt. We already thought but about that. Is not mad. But I don't know why. Agree that he does not have the profile of a psychopath. I think Franklin was but also. If is not guilty, how do you explain his presence at the scene of the crimes? He was Mr. Clark's controlling the question is in cussed. the medical records of your brother's patients. Documents which Cust most certainly did not have access to. He had access to the things, to the files. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. So, well, Franklin and Ms. Gray had access to the files, but I think Franklin took advantage of them. What do we know about Cust? Easily influenced. And wounded. Mentally fragile and easy to manipulate. How do we explain his presence at the crime scenes? Selling panties. Um... He was the the door to door salesman, and he was on the train. Oh, and he wanted to swim. Oh, and he. I thought that explained it. He was a door to door salesman. It's a coincidence. Oh, because someone manipulated him into going to. So Franklin, I'm assuming it's Franklin. The medical records. Cuss was manipulated. Killer made him go to town. So he did not kill and he did not have... He's too dumb. Dr. Clark's patient's records provided a very useful list of potential victims. I think this so is romanticizing murderers the killer as well, definitely to a certain extent. It, explaining the fact that all the victims were former patients of the doctor. It is this fact that clears Cuss once and for all because They're he like, never oh. had access to these records. Someone was a mastermind. So did he happen to be at the scene of the crimes? Either the murderer sent him there, or Cus was following him closely. Cus's highly suggestible nature leads us to the second hypothesis. The murderer was manipulating him. He systematically GG, sent thank you for the bits again. was going to strike, so that the suspicion would land on the poor man's shoulder. 
That's evil. What sort of killer could have such a plan? And what would he gain from three completely different murders? Indeed, it seems unlikely that the same murderer committed all the crimes. What should we take from that? That part. Say that one, only one murder is of interest to the killer. Just one murder was of benefit to the murderer. The others were just diversions. Diversions. On there is only one conclusion. Oh, romanticizing intelligence. Out of interest and twice to divert our attention. This reasoning points at two potential culprits. Franklin Clark. Donald Fraser? Yes, mademoiselle. Wait, Donald? That's good thing. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Oh. Fraser may have killed Betty out of jealousy. Mr. Clark may have killed his brother in order to inherit his large fortune. Oh, shit. Was Both it Donald? But Donald did not have access to Dr. Clark's records. Yeah. Please allow me to disagree with you, mademoiselle. Indicate Donald was treated by Dr. Clark. Indicate that Donald's firm worked for Clark. Indicate that... Did his firm work for Clark? He works for Court and Brunskill, one of whose clients was Sir Carmichael. It doesn't prove that I went to Combside. You could have done it. And you may have used the opportunity to take a look at Sir Carmichael's records. You think I'm guilty? You? Or Mr. Franklin Clark? That's ridiculous! Both of you have a motive. The question is, which of you has the profiles that most Not resemble the murderer? who is Donald? <laughs> He's from the second murder. Let's now try Betty. and get our brand cells to work. Which one of them is, is Donald Clever? <laughs> Didn't he have the weird dreams? He's a brat. He... He is clever. <laughs> Is Donald sure of himself? No. He's easy to influence. Uh-oh. Franklin is sure of himself. He kissed Thora. Is he a seducer? Well, women seem to like him. <laughs> Maybe he likes... He does like trains. We did know that about him. Is he cold? I don't think so. He wrote, like, cute letters to... Oh, he's quick-tempered. Oh, did he not write letters to Betty? I don't really remember. Is he generous? He was always attentive and generous. But he didn't have all of the qualities. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald may share many character traits with the murderer, but he does not have his cold indifference. He has a temper. It is hard to imagine him planning anything. Also, jealousy is his motive, and crimes of passion mm. are rarely planned. So right, Franklin it is. it's my turn to be subjected to the same scrutiny. Oh, honey, the reading Absolutely challenge. The library is open. It's time to use my brain cells. Every, everyone just sits in silence and looks at Poirot while he's thinking. Uh, is Franklin clever? One of these has got to be it. So, oh yeah, school report. Very smart. All of all of you who made straight A's in school, including me, watch out. Self confident. Oh, he was self confident. He made the move on self-confident. He made a move on uh, uh, Thora. Gray? The man seduced Betty. Tried to seduce Miss Gray as well. Does he like trains? He has a book, a children's book, called The Railway Children. Is that a children's book? I don't know. He had a book about trains. Is he cold? He is wearing a jacket. I don't know. Might be cold. 
Good God. And he did uh, he did offer to pay for someone's train tickets. As you have all seen, there is a disturbing similarity between Mr. Clark's God. profile and that of the killer. In actual fact, it is exactly the same. Mr. Poirot, your psychological studies are interesting, but you're... why would I have wished my brother's death? The inheritance is lawfully mine. I just have to wait. No, you had to act quickly. Was he impatient? Thora Gray bothered him? Oh! Because he... Th he thought Thora was going to get the inheritance. He thought Thora was going to marry him. Marry his brother. Because of Miss Gray. <gasps> <gasps> Mademoiselle, also you haven't been telling the truth. There is no doubt in my mind that you would have found a way to marry Sir Carmichael after Lady Clark's death. For you, Mr. Clark, it was <laughs> This is a snoozer, but if I'm Ms. having Gray fun. If Miss done by your brother, you would not have inherited a thing. They generally wrap it up a little you faster in Nancy Drew after games. reading several letters from Comside, especially one in which your brother opened his heart to you. So you hurried home from China mm. and you took action. In truth, Kirst was no more than a puppet manipulated by the real culprit. Why didn't... You, Mr. Clark. Why didn't he kill Miss Gray and then marry Mr. his own brother? In fact, nobody manipulated Kirst. The famous instructions he received by post. He wrote them on the typewriter. We know that for sure. Oh, no. You know perfectly well. That is not true. Eh bien, voilà. Light has now been shed on the ABC murders. Your theories are ingenious. That's true. But Sometimes too quickly. Proof. One point to him. For the moment, I have no material proof. Either I admit to it... Not me thinking all I this. Don't. Lie about the fingerprints, invent an item of proof. Say that proof is going to be easy to find. You know what? Let's see what the guy, let's see what happens. Lie about fingerprints on the typewriter. And now it all depends on if we put real or fake bullets. This is the last question. Lie about the... I think my idea was better. If he had killed Miss Gray, she was poor. <laughs> In the 1930s, no one would have cared. And then he should have married his own brother. And then he would have got double inheritance. Because he would have gotten the inheritance from marrying his brother. And then when his brother died. Why didn't he just kill Thor and marry his brother? One thing proves it. The prince you left on Cus typewriter. Enough. Oh, of course, you wiped the typewriter before sending it. But not carefully enough. Scotland Yard has found your print along with those of course. <laughs> the bottles. I understand he why gets you never double the money. your new typewriter. And why you were searching through your brother's things. And the hole you dug on the moors. She's what sad, I mean. The knife you used to kill your brother? Game, set, match. You win, Mr. Poirot. But it was uh -oh. worth trying. He's gonna get shot. Oh, there's gonna be a cutscene. Okay, let's all act surprised. Oh shit, he grabbed Don't the wall. I'll never let you take okay. me, Mr. Poirot. I actually didn't expect that. Oh, he's gonna What was that? Did his name start with D? Took he skipped D and E. He had no right. He should have paid for his crimes. I should have expected what he did. Oh, Come I got on, the bad Poirot. ending. Everybody makes mistakes. Exactly. <laughs> Hastings. I think he's okay. If one day I sound pretentious. I think he's okay. Whisper these three letters in my ear. You think A he's okay? I think he's okay. They shall remind me that we all have our limits. Do you think he's me. okay? I think he's okay. <laughs> Do you think he's okay? Missed the chance to become Lady Clark, Thora Gray left England. She went to Rome. <laughs> Donald Fraser and Megan Barnard married. 
That's the same picture. On Claro's recommendation, Mary Drower started to work for Lady Clark. The elderly lady's condition suddenly took a turn for the better. And a few months later, to Dr. Logan's great surprise, she was back on her feet again. According to this eminent physician, it appears to be an extremely rare case of spontaneous remission. What? Lady Clark has enjoyed very good health ever since. She didn't look it. <laughs> Journal of an Innocent. The incredible story of ABC. You work. As you get AB that. Cost, after get that being money. Advised by Poirot, he made a great deal of money by selling his story to the press. You better work. And as for me, you better work, Dick Donbar. Oh, this is Dick Donbar. The number one tourist Who's talking? attraction in the whole of Yorkshire. Even more popular than York Minster. That was. That was Dongy. <laughs> Based on the. That was a book? <laughs> Agatha Christie wrote books and she was a video game developer? What? I mean, you gotta give it up to her. She wore many hats, divas. You give it up, Miss Christie. You better work, Aggie. Cosmos, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. I actually enjoyed this. <laughs> it was a little slow, right? Oh, oh, cut the audience. So if we had loaded it with blanks, I guess he would have gone to prison instead. I enjoyed that. I think the older Agatha Christie games are pretty different, but I don't remember. <laughs> My voice. I crack myself up all the time. Someone has to. Okay, Catmos, thank you for the bits. Uh, my voice is doing okay. I'm going to go rest it for an hour. I've got to record the podcast in like about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to go shove eight mozzarella sticks in my mouth. And then record the podcast. We're doing a bonus episode this week, too. I'll be chit-chatting. Shara, thank you for the bits. I enjoyed it, too. Oh, yeah, we're finishing games these days. We got stuff. I got to find some more games to play. Well, we got Shrek. I'll be playing Shrek 2 next week. Oh, y'all be thinking about new, um, uh, what's it called? New video. Oh, new, um, <laughs> Sub goals. We need new sub goals. Tomorrow's a new month. To, we're recording this on the last day of February. Sub goals. So we hit all the sub goals for this month, including the um, mystery with a extra, extra stretch sub goal. So I'm going to be live tweeting in March Shrek 1 and 2. I'm going to be watching them for the first time. I'm going to be playing Shrek 2 video game and we're going to be baking something Shrek related. Yeah, we're not doing any more Shrek goals next month. This That was your Shrek month. It's over. Y'all have made me do it. Uh, next up goal, we'll probably do another Bratz one. And then, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll think them up, to, um, think them up for Thursday's stream. Okay, I'm going to end it right there because uh, I do have to go. I have to start hitting the music before I go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Poopy pee down my leg. Oh, we do pee pee jokes now. Pee pee down my leg. May Morgan, thank you for the bits. Thanks everyone for the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are freaking amazing. I enjoyed playing this game with y'all. Stay safe, stay hydrated, take care of yourselves, exhibit self-care, get some rest. Uh, love y'all so much, and I will see y'all on Thursday. Bye! Bye.